What's up guys, we're here back again with another Division 2 video. State of the game, Wednesday the 20th of May. This is a quick recap guys, and finally some really good news I need to share with you guys this evening. But first I'm going to start with a big, bad egg in the room, and that is the new Ubisoft Term of Service. I've seen a lot of negativity and a lot of content creators pushing out content that basically states, yeah, Ubisoft own us. They own everything. They're, they're this, they're that. They are the big bad wolf and all that jazz. Now... The devs have come out and said this. Some of these paragraphs are not compatible with the division, like playing with lower level players or help and boosting other players through content. In the division, we have the shepherd system that promotes and encourages helping others and lower level players, and they will not take any actions against players that do that. The same goes for matchmaking. When you matchmake with a cheater or an exploiter and benefit from that, they will not punish you. They will go after the cheater. Let me just reiterate. They will not punish you. They will go after the cheater. That is clear as day. So guys, do not worry. They understand fully that rules like that are worrying. And the dev team basically has to discuss that with the people who put these paragraphs together. And see how they handle the fact that there are rules that are in contradiction with what this game does. Remember... This is for the whole Ubisoft the state of titles. We're talking Just Dance, Raymond Raven Rabbids. We're talking Watch Dogs. We're talking The Division 2, Assassin's Creed. It goes on and on. You kind of get the gist now. It covers a whole spectrum of games, not just The Division 2. And there are contradictions in the policy to this game. So first and foremost, guys, take a look at The Division Code of Conduct. I'll leave a link in the description. Importantly, that supersedes at present that's what you need to look at however if you do see anything that does contradiction there if there's any problems reach out to the devs on twitter and explain your issues and your concerns but for me i don't have any issues i don't have any worries take this as massive i've come out and basically said you do not need to worry anyway we digress title update 10 PTS is Friday the 22nd of May. Great news. That will last a couple of weeks in two phases, which is great news. I'm absolutely stoked. And if you're on PC and part of the community, then please let me know below in the coming days what you feel your initial impressions are of TU10. Now, a few goals they have for TU10, and that is, quite quickly, bug fixes, quality assurances to address as many issues as they can. And we know with Division fans, there are an abundance of problems. They're trying really hard to bring balance in and generosity and fun in the game. So guys, exotics availability, which is kind of key because I want to see more exotics. I want to see them drop more frequently because, yeah, I'm, my RNG is bad. But let's just say this. TU-10 or Warlords New York exotics will be added to the general sources. So that's targeted loot, heroic legendary final bosses raid bosses which is weekly and exotic caches there are also exceptions of course raid exotics big horn will stay exclusive to the raid and legendary content some exotics will have a crafting quest you have to complete that crafting quest first exotics are assigned to the season reward track for example like the coach's mask you need to, you need that progression first before you can unlock the mask all new exotics Yes, guys, all new exotics for Raid 2 and Season 2 will be part of the PTS. There will be a vendor on the PTS where you can get all the items, exotics, gear pieces. That will be added with TU10. So, guys, as always, PC, I want to see some really, really good photos and some information regarding these new great exotics because I'm a console pauper. I am. There's some really good detailed changes coming as well. Weapon damage, weapons and weapon handling got a general balancing pass. The general increase of player power which is essential. I want to feel powerful in this game. And I, I honestly believe they're doing something about that with these changes. ARs and SMGs get a buff. There were some nerfs to outliers, but the idea was to bring all weapons up a bit, which is key. That also applies to gear sets to make the mechanics more powerful. So guys, I'm a big skill builder. Hardwired will become even stronger. I am excited. The M1A, we all guessed it, will get a slight nerf, but the rest have also been brought up. So guys, Rifle Estate now, there should be some good options. I'm keen to, again, check out some of the new rifles in TU-10. And Exotics will be reworked to make more desirable. Legendaries, more rewarding. General roles we looked at for all difficulties. 
TU10 control points will just have just be one loot crate, one big box, and that gives more loot that also scales with difficulty. Mission crates are still worked on. Changes to PvP weapon damage and time to kill, guys. Longer time to kill. Great. The big vendor pass. So that's no more purple items. When you hit level 40, goodbye purples. Gone. <laughs> I'm kind of stoked to see these changes. Higher item power. Named items will be sold from all vendors. Named items are more expensive. Dark Zone vendors also have named items and also DZ exclusive named items. And then we'll look at projects. The SHD requisition projects are available on level 40 and they're now weekly exotic projects. Yes, guys, yep, yeah, exotic projects, which will give you an exotic cash reward. There is also a weekly project to complete a legendary mission. Yes, guys, so you complete a legendary mission, and there'll be a project attached to it that comes with an exotic cash. Yes, guys, you complete the legendary mission first, and then it becomes available. Happy days. Change, good positive changes. And I feel there's more reward than ever more than in, in this game. Field proficiency caches will be awarded again after a level up once you've completed the season. Again, it's more loot, hopefully better loot as well. And again, on a final note, crafting is also being looked at to have better mid-match rolls. And that's in PTS Phase 2. It should be generous, but it should not negate all the other content, which I completely agree. It should be, again, a good chance of getting a good roll. So guys, I'm excited genuinely excited for the tu10 update i genuinely am so really good balancing so again and again fun is going to be really really shoehorned into this game which is great and hopefully it brings a few players back to the table because i'm excited for tu10 guys let me know what you think in the comment section about tu10 are you excited new exotics balancing all sounds really good in this game and again reward for doing this really difficult content, which, guys, I'm happy about. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs doodle, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.